And for months, a push to remove certain books from public school libraries has been intensifying in Texas. Some argue that there are some texts that are inappropriate for students to have access to. Others say it restricts knowledge and access to important literature. But in the heat of all this, a group of Vandegrift High School students launched what they're calling a banned book club. And they told KVU's Mike Marut their mission is to get certain books back into classrooms in Leander ISD. In the Vandergrift High School Library. I've been reading a lot right now. Surrounded by stories. You could see yourselves in the book. Students in the Vandergrift High School Band Book Club want to read the stories they're told not to. To find like the value and power in a book, I think it mostly comes from like the emotions and like the reaction that you have from reading the book. Alyssa Hoy and Ella Scott started the club this school year. Kendall Howe creates thought-provoking questions for the bi-weekly meetings. They're all sophomores at VHS. No one's book taste is quite the same, so I think that um, having a wide variety of all these different books is really important. The club boasts about a dozen students working down this list of books that Leander ISD says cannot live on classroom library shelves. Reading, discussing, then writing their thoughts on each book to send to district leaders. We have successfully gotten kiss number eight unbanned and added back to the library. The club meets here in the graphic novel room. You can find a wide range of stories from How the Grinch Stole Christmas to The Handmaid's Tale graphic novel, which was recently banned from classroom libraries. Student perspective isn't really being asked when they make these decisions. I feel like it isn't happening with students in the conversations. According to Leander ISD, the committees that discuss books available for students include students but it's usually about two or three per committee. Those advisory committees also include parents, teachers, and community members. Last year, State Representative Matt Krause released a list of more than 850 books available to students he said should be reviewed. Item number 46, the discussion of CARES Act funds. In December, Williamson County Commissioners told the Leander School District it would not receive CARES Act funding unless the district's review process was more transparent. Parents, teachers, students, and authors read that as funding would only be given if the district found more books to be inappropriate. In Leander ISD's review, the books were banned from classroom libraries, but not from school and district libraries, meaning students can still find the books on school grounds, but cannot ask teachers outside the school library for access to the books. After talks between the district and the county, LISD got the money. But these students want to make sure they and their classmates weigh in too. Well, because we're kids in high school, we think that it's important to have the kids around us have like a chance to speak and we're going to be the ones to help them get their voices out for it. In Austin, I'm Mike Marut. Now we reached out to Representative Matt Krause multiple times for this story. We got no response. A spokesperson for Leander ISD told us Vandergriff's banned book club doesn't get its materials from classroom libraries, only the school library itself or through other means.